The first stop on the six-night cruise on Royal Caribbean's Voyage of the Seas from Galveston, Texas, was Costamaya, Mexico. When I first got off the ship, I sat on that yellow pier and got soaked. Some people even got splashed on the gangway. I happened to see that the pier trolley was just about to leave, so I jumped on it, saved myself about a five-minute walk to the shopping area. It's quite an elaborate shopping area that reminded me of the Puerto Plata port in the Dominican Republic. I love the beautiful mural, and the water was absolutely beautiful. There is quite a bit of sargasm grass that's coming close to the shore, just like in a lot of the Caribbean. I'll have a little more info on that later. Hola. Gracias. When you get to the port, there's lots of maps and signs to tell you where to go, and there's even this elaborate forecasting system using a coconut. Just past there is where you're going to see all the lines for the shore excursions pre-booked from Royal Caribbean. There was a lot of traditional dancers there where I guess you could get your picture taken with them for a tip. Here comes even more of that sargasm grass. They got very close to the pool area. Apparently tiny creatures live inside that sargasm. My daughter got bit by something and her hand swelled up. Fortunately, we had some allergy pills with us and it cleared right up in a day. Wait, are we no Rick Strips right now? <laughs> no! Oh. I just missed the more than 600 year old tradition dance of the flyers. It has something to do with a drought way back in the day and they did a dance for the sun gods. I showed her some clips when I saw this at Cozumel. Be sure to check out that video. I'll put a link in the description and up above. I walked out to take a peek at this Mayan temple replica that had a lot of intricate art on the outside and peering through the door looked like they're either making something or it used to be something. Either way it was pretty cool. It's worth the trip up the stairs because you get a really good view of the port and a beautiful view of the ship. Back to the port shopping area I saw all these skywalks. They looked really nice like walking through a tree fort. Next time I go there I'm gonna Check it out. They have a lot of beautiful flamingos right in this beautiful aviary that's right in the middle of the shopping area. There's some beautiful birds and that's the entrance to the tree fort that goes all around the park. It's really cool. And we've got a cool shot of this iguana. They're all over the place. Continuing through the shopping area, you'll find this other outer ring. And it's like an alleyway of shops, restaurants. This is also where you're going to find the shop where you get the dolphin excursion tickets. Which is where you can swim with the dolphins and get pushed by the dolphins. Sure look like fun. There are lots of places you can see the beach and get beautiful shots of the ship. And this El Faro restaurant looked pretty decent. The Magic Garden is some sort of tequila and chocolate experience. I'm not sure what that was, but the restaurant looked really nice. And it sure like somebody who had a lot of fun with the tequila. Wow. <laughs> Going further along the outer ring, there's more shops. You'll see another pool on the left, so there's three pools total. And then you'll find the exit to the place where you can rent a golf cart to go downtown or get a taxi. I stayed on the port this time, but the next time I go to Costa Maya, I am going to go to the Crazy Lobster. I heard it was fantastic. They even have their own version of the Flow Rider here. These church bell towers reminded me of Punta Delgada in the Azores. Be sure to check that video out. That looks like a nice friendly fish, but these fish aren't. These are little piranhas that are supposed to clean your feet. I was pretty leery of it. Now I'm back at the center pool. Probably the biggest pool in the place, and like all the pools, the use of the lounge chairs are free as long as you're buying food and drink. There sure was a lot of activity going on at this pool and they have a nice waterfall there. It looked very refreshing. They even had a bunch of dancers come out. It was really nice and it reminded me of the Virgin Voyages private island on Bimini. I wonder if all these cruise lines are starting to copy things from each other. Not a bad idea. I decided to buy a magnetic bracelet at Colleen's Magnetic Jewelry. It's supposed to help with pain. As I'm getting older, I'll take all the help I can get. There's a lot of beautiful shops at this port, and do what I did before I bought a Colleen's. Google it. I got a great deal, just like the review said. I decided to have lunch at the Cantina Lantina. It cost about $35, and I got a yard of margarita, guacamole, and chips. 
it's worth it. You're always going to pay more in a cruise port. I had a great time at Costa Maya, even though I never left the port. I hope you like this video, and if so, hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Bon voyage!